Hey everybody, how y'all are? All that sawdust. <laughs> I'm kind of up in my game here. I don't think it's set right. Yeah, you ain't seeing what I don't, you ain't seeing what I want you to see. So let's, let's move the tripod back, <laughs> which actually would be a good idea. I'd rather have it like that. And I can still zoom in if I wanted to. Well, that's all right. All right, so. I'm on a standard audio scene. This thing's all automatic. Turn that on. Uh, how come all right hang loose okay so I'm running this all standard standard audio standard this standard that no extra lighting I don't know if I'm in the shot or not I'm 500 me all the way hey everybody <coughs> <coughs> But I'm showing stuff off here. Hey, look at Mod Pod. Actually, uh, this stuff's still drying it. Look at this. Oh. It's still white and soft. It's still trying to cure. It's been so doggone cold. I hope it cures. But it's, it is working. I got a couple more sets to do. So that's all standard. Standard sound and everything stand in a far distance. No mic or nothing. I'm using everything off the, off the uh, whatever heck that is, the uh, Vixia. So let's see what happens when I change over a couple parameters. I'm more concerned about the sound right now. And well, and yeah, in, in the videoing. The nice part is that the video camera is like far away. It, it's kind of like in a safe zone. It might not be a bad idea. I don't know yet. I'm not using any kind of special lenses of any kind, and that's just the standard lighting coming off the top. Well, let's close the big, the big husky. I got the husky aimed up, aimed at doing the other. I don't look too bad. Okay, hang on a second. Let's try a different, a different sound scenario. Okay, so this one now is set up for a sound scenario that's for music. Music, hey, Captain, let us sing the song, do da, do da. I don't know. And I've got no extra light, I just got the overhead light going on right now, which it might seem a little dim and dark. I do have the garage door shut, which when I put the garage door up, then it's going to be funny. I think that I'm going to be cutting down a lot of the overhead glare. I think. I'm not sure. Okay, there's that. Now, okay, we'll be right back. Let's uh, try another sound scenario. Okay, so now this one is set up for speech. If I can, you know, I look at this. I got <laughs> sawdust on it already. I ain't even started yet. How come it's hooking up on like that? Oh, I ain't supposed to go that way. Okay, we'll turn it around like that. That's pretty good. I can see if I'm in the picture. I don't even think I'm in the picture. Am I? Barely. Okay. So this one's set up for speech. Like four score and seven years ago, our forefathers started using Mod Pod. I hope it's not froze. Because it did get cold the past couple of days. It's like in the 50s now, so I'm like in seventh heaven. I'm still wearing I'm not wearing long underwear. I don't know, that's probably too TMI, but hey. Yeah, I gotta talk about something. Okay, next. So, alright, so. That is sounding for that. And, uh. I'm also. 
I've also got the Able Grid that I got set up. Just kind of like a second angle camera. I'm not sure about this one. I'll fire it up again. Alright, so this audio scene is for nature, like birds. see this but I can I can electronically zoom it in. What I've been doing is I've been dribbling the mice pad into these into these cricks. And how I've been doing it is I took this this stick and I put it on the on the sander and I sanded a little groove in it like almost like a spoon. I've been scooping it out and kind of dribbling it down in there. And, and it seemed to be working pretty good. After it dries for like six months, it does dry clear. And we'll probably be able to focus down into that. Although I'll, it is kind of off-center. Nice picture of the table saw. Mm. Okay, let's go try the next one. Okay. 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 Okay, so now like this is like noise suppression. It's supposed to cut down on wind and noise from cars in the background. Uh, going to be kind of echoey and so I'm going to have to uh, actually probably put some where I might and then I'll have to figure out what the sound is for that. And I'll probably do that later after I recharge the battery because I got a feeling that the battery is going to poop out. So we got that part done. We kind of did a sound thing. I'm going to keep it with that high background noise just to see what's going on. Now let's try some lighting here. Well, that is a nice shadow. So, here's with the old husky going. Did it make a difference? Actually, it did. Hmm. Kind of got that raw look. Raw, raw, raw. Let's try something else. I don't use this light too often. Well. I haven't been using this light much since I did the overhead. Because it, it, it was causing me a lot of glare and issues. I'm probably going to have to see the difference with this because it's too far away. I know that the box is going to be throwing a shadow. And there really isn't a whole lot I can do about that. Let's drop the box down. Something to look at. Oh, look. I know I've said this before. One of the fun things about being a woodworker is that I can take and peel the glue off with these silicone things. Note to self, I need to order a couple more of these because uh, I kind of kind of lost a couple. Of course, where are they going to go? They're in the shop. Unless the vacuum cleaner sucked them up, which I doubt. Or I accidentally canned them, which I doubt. Because I've been pretty careful about that. Now, these are, every once in a while I get them on sale a couple at a time. I have to look and see. I like the bench dog ones too. This one's Rockler, but I, I've got the bench dog one because usually these are almost like half price. And I wonder if you can see me manipulating that. I don't know. And these things here, did, ever see, did, I, did I ever talk about these? I might have. I probably did. But these are actually spoon rests, silicone spoon rests. And they work real good for keeping glue clean. If you're using glue and you want it just shallow, it's, it works, makes a good glue bed. It works really good. I like it. Some things you like, some things you don't. 
some of the things that you like that you use a lot, some that you don't, you don't use a lot. You know, I might have to move my 11 finger. Okay, so that's that. And uh, there's the lighting. And let's go ahead and, and kill the lighting. One of the things that I really need to do, uh, I'm not going to have, I've got that new microphone, which I'm going to do, I'm going to have to do some sound checks and stuff like that in the house. But I'm not going to bring that in here because that's a wired mic. And I got enough wires floating around over here, I don't need that anymore. Now, I'm trying to figure out. How the heck to use this without? Okay, let's do a new. Let's do a reset. Okay, so that's pretty much a wipeout, washout with the high, with the big lights. Tight line up the other one. Let's move the lights the other way. Hmm. I'll tell you what, that tripod's kind of like huge. Hang on a second. <coughs> so I got a little bit of background light. I can't tell if there's a lot of glare on that because that being aluminum, it might be. I might have to try some glancing blow kind of lighting. Here, let me see what I can do here. That seems to be a little better. There's a little bit of glare right here. That's actually coming from behind me, which is the lights up above. I, I really don't have much of control over that. Well, yeah, I do. Put a shade on it. Use for a case. I need to sharpen some knives too while I'm playing home. Man, I gotta clean up my right gut. This location. Let's see. Let's twist it around a little bit. Okay, I gotta widen it up a little. Move it a little bit. Yeah, that'll do okay. Heck, I can even just leave it here and not move it. I could shoot the drill press or the sander. Let's throw a little bit more light on the subject. 
which is over there. Put a little bit more light on it. Oh yeah, that'll work. That don't look too bad. Okay. Okay, well. So, I need to check the sound. And, uh, hey everybody, how y'all are? And, uh, figure out what would be a better better way to sound, to run the sound. I probably have to play with it a little bit. I have to use, uh, extra lights for some of this stuff. Which isn't too bad. Without having that three side lens on it, I have to move the camera back a lot farther, which may affect sound. And if it does affect the sound, then I'm going to have to go. I'm going to go with a probably go with a new with a with a one of the portable mics anyway. So until I get the, I can find all the plugs and all that kind of stuff. Everything's going to be coming out of one speaker on whatever's made in the shop. But that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. I think I'm going to change out. I'll dust it off. I think I'm going to use that shorter one in the house. I'm bring the taller one back out here because that, that taller one gave me a lot of coming down angle. Which this one here now is at max height and it's shooting downward. But if I stand up and bring it up level, it doesn't even look at look me in the eye. I got ideas. I may look into a look into a taller tripod. And then take this one and convert it to something else. What I have no idea. It'd be nice to be able to hook this up and put it on wheels. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so that's it for my no desk Monday. Well, no, not really. Come on, let's go. Let's do a little pan here. All right, so that's around to there. Now, and I hope I can do this right. This thing don't pan too good. Don't pan too smooth. It's kind of sticky. So with where that light's at, I bring it up like that. I'm actually not getting the glare that I was getting when I'm using the, the, the other little cameras. And that's because the lens is inset in. Let's raise it up a little bit. See, I, I have to go all the way up here to pick up the glare from the ceiling. The glare off the back end, I'm not going to be able to do anything about that. That's because it's a shiny, shiny white surface. Alright, so let's continue. This isn't too bad. It's picking up pretty good. Alright, so that's where I got the lights, they're not they're not pointing right at. It. Okay, so if I had the lights pointing right at, at us, that'd be like that. Yeah, that's a halo. That's a pretty bad halo, so I gotta remember that when I'm doing it. So if I take and I move the lights away like that, this thing does pretty good on controlling uh glare. Oh, it's pretty good. Alright, so we'll do that like it's a behind the scenes kind of thing. And we'll set this one up like it's an in front of the scenes kind of thing. Which because of the track that it's got that uh fish eye lens, we get a lot of glare off. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much for asking. Okay. So both of these cameras are aimed 
pretty much aimed at the same point. Both of these cameras are aimed pretty much at the same point, they're the same height, and more or less. I got fantastical lighting behind it. Enough of that malarkey. Let's go check the video footage and see what we can see.